Bring it on. Yeah! Woo! That's what I'm talking about. More eyeballs. More... More giblets, more Thanksgiving chunklets. Hello everybody, Grace Still Plays, and we're back with what is becoming my favorite zombie killing base building game in VR. Undead development, new updates to the game, couple of balances, things happen certain ways, you can blow up grenades now with firearms, which is freaking fantastic. And, with your guys' suggestions, I unlocked a couple of things that's new and exciting over here to the research area. We now have the potential to find a chainsaw and I have messed with the chainsaw and it is as someone commented the very bane of all zombies it is like anti-zombie juice but in like a a giant metal construction that's the size of an eight-year-old child you think I'm kidding you hold on we've got one over here after all inside of our little base you get to see a little bit of everything what what is this? I know it's supposed to be a chainsaw, but look at the size of this thing. It's by Beaver, folks. Those Beaver brand chainsaws. Let's go ahead and move it over here to this hand. The cool thing is you can actually grab it. Look at that. The hand opens to go on the chainsaw, and it will legit kick your ass. I also went ahead and unlocked. You guys wanted new uh, shotguns. So I unlocked new shotguns. I really want to get the new tactical shotguns. It's three more points. I think we have one right now. So we've got a little bit of work to do, but no big deal. You can see I've unlocked the nighttime map of the old home. We're not going to do nighttime today because I want us to be able to see everything really good. We're going to try and build and get as far as we ever have yet. And I'm really hoping that we get to use that chainsaw. So we're back where it all began. Back at the original house. This is where the demo took place. Also, there's an ability I have to use more often, which now you can go ahead and click on the thumb button and you can pick stuff up like that, which is pretty freaking sweet. Let us run around grabbing everything as we often do. Um, can I grab this like this down here? Oh, I sure. All right. Oh, whatever. I didn't need all this stuff anyway. All this stuff's just going to get in the freaking way. Uh, let's go ahead and throw that. That was interesting. Let's go ahead and throw that over there for right now. We do have our trusty hammer, which is super useful, and we are going to need. Sometimes there's some random items. Yep, look at that. Grenade just laying around. That's when you know you're in this zombie apocalypse, man. When random grenades can just be found in various boxes inside of your house. Actually, I will say, this entire town is like that. Like, oh, there's more bullets right over here. Actually, there's a lot of bullets inside the house today. Over here in Trailer Park, USA, every trailer has various ammunition. Oh, yes. Right off the bat. Oh, oh the, the gods of chainsaws have blessed us on this day with this beautiful gift from the beavers themselves. Let us go ahead and bring it inside. This is supposed to be a rare spawn. I don't know how, I don't know like what rare means when it comes to spawning though. Like how often we're supposed to see it or how non-often we're supposed to see it. I have no idea. I'm just glad to have one. I will say, you can get two of them. I don't think we're going to be that lucky. But if we can freaking dual wield uh, chainsaws, my, I mean my life's goal will basically have come true. Now the new shotgun that we have is pretty slick too. It is a four round shotgun. Not nothing too amazing, but considering our first shotgun only has two rounds, that is, you know, for all you math magicians, double. Uh, let's continue to go around here and grab all the loot we possibly can. Over here, sad little gun. Just kind of laying in wait for us. We're getting a lot of shotgun shells, which I'm pretty happy about, since I do want to abuse the shotgun as much as possible. There is a sniper rifle, as well as a lovely knife, because what better way to take out zombies than with the shortest possible range instrument you could possibly have, although it seems like, I don't know if we're just like immune to zombie infective powers or whatever have you, but we can take a hit and still keep on moving around. Oh, here we go. Found the new shotgun right here. Something I noticed, I don't know if it was always like this or if this kind of stuff maybe happened in the update or whatever have you. The update was actually really good. It added a lot of cool things. Um, but something I noticed is that there's basically no additional loot after you beat the first wave like as we scavenge right now the stuff that we get is going to essentially be the majority of our supplies i'm actually really happy i just slapped my green screen i'm actually really happy 
that we happen to get at least one assault rifle, which is kind of nice. I do want to get the new assault rifles, the better ones as well. But man, I really want to... Ooh, a fire axe. I really want to increase our uh, shotgun capabilities because, man, I have a newfound love for the shotgun and the chainsaw. But definitely the shotgun as well. More grenades. More bullets. Now, the bear traps. I love me some bear traps. I'm actually gonna leave that hammer there. I love me some bear traps, quite honestly. The more bear traps, the better in this game. If we can get a hundred of them, I'll take them all, man. Now, you may be wondering, Gray, why is your hammer glowing an incredibly bright gold color? Uh, it's the one hammer. Realistically, I think that if you became a uh, early access guy, if you, if you got the game in early access, I think you get the glowing hammer. It's just kind of like a little hay there. Thanks a bunch. Uh, I don't think it actually, like, does anything tangible or anything. I don't think that the glowing hammer is, like, better than the non-glowing hammer. It's just a cool, like, thank you from the developer to say, like, hey, thanks for supporting me. All right, so we've done a little bit of scavenging, and now it's time to put everything together. Oh, bear traps. Come with me, good sirs. Now, you may be saying to yourself, Gray, what are you doing with that bear trap, Gray? What are you doing with that bear trap? I'll show you. Hold on, watch this. Right, first we're going to do the bear trap flip, right like that. Then you grab your golden hammer right over here. And then you get it right about head height. Right about like that there. And then you put a good two or three nails in it. And you've got yourself a zombie decapitation instrument. Now there's more. You don't just want a bear trap. The more bear traps, the merrier, I always say. This area, this part of the house right here is very, very defensible as well. So I think that that's where we're going to be. Let's go ahead and twist my arm as uncomfortably as possible as we move this bear trap in this direction. There we go. Get it moved right about there. Can I get another couple of nails in there? We sure can. Little cleaver at head height, never hurt anyone. Well, anyone that wasn't a zombie, put that right about there. We got a nice fire axe that we can go ahead and throw up here as well. Let's go ahead and angle this one down a little bit. Actually, you know what, why, why do that? Let's go ahead and attach a fire axe to a bear trap. That's what you guys really want to see, isn't it? Alrighty, and now, here we go. With uh, chainsaw and shotgun in hand, we're gonna take on the freaking zombie horde, people. Now you can use the chainsaw for clearing the area if you want to, but it does have limited fuel, so you gotta watch out. Now you may be saying to yourself, well, great, why don't you go ahead and, you know, nail a shotgun to a chainsaw. I'm gonna do that, but let's use it first, because last time I nailed a chainsaw to a to a shotgun, it like teleported through the house and I lost it. And I want to at least show you guys a little bit of chainsaw action. Start the wave! Let us begin. Wave one's always pretty easy. Like I said, four shots in this, 300 fuel in this, with 300 fuel left over. How do you refuel it? I don't actually know. There's a generator outside, so maybe we get it from that. I don't know, I've never messed with it yet. You know what, I don't like this nightstand either. I'm gonna beat it to death with our shotgun. I don't want to waste any ammo on it. Where's all the zombies at? Zombies are just shambling around. The first level is always usually like very easy, and then it ramps up to relatively insane levels after that. You boys know. Oh, there we go. That's our first victim. Right there. Matter of fact, we can put this back, load this back up, hightail it back over here. You can't do that that much when the game moves on. Because the zombies start coming a little bit too quickly and they'll grab you through the friggin' bear trap, I'll tell you what. I wonder if we'll even get to use this in the first wave. Maybe I'll just skip past the first wave, we'll get to the better waves. Chainsaws! That worked well. Oh, look at this! We got a contender, folks! Never mind! Never mind. That guy's head got ripped off in like three different ways as the uh, bear trap there Go ahead and closed on it. Let's see if we can go ahead and open this back up. There we go! You go ahead and thank you very much. You did exactly what I wanted to do. His entire body disintegrated. So the baseball bats don't seem to do anything. If you notice, they're walking straight through the baseball bat. So it looks like it has to be a bladed instrument. All right. First uh, little, little thing here is done. Like I said, not too much stuff. Different zombie giblets flying through there. Now, very quickly, we need to find our loot drop. And grab this piece of rebar out here. We'll go ahead and grab this too. There we go. And what has the military dropped us into there, I wonder? Let's find out. Couple of bullets and that's pretty much it. Alright. Alrighty. Since the, uh... Since this didn't disappear right off the bat, let us go ahead and hammer a shotgun. 
right there into it. Oh, yeah, that looks legit. Oh, hold on. Right there! Did you see that? Did you see it? It's the disappearing friggin' chainsaw. Why? Why does this happen? It's just in the middle of the menu screen. Whenever you go to the menu screen, it just seems to completely disappear on you. I love my chainsaw. My chainsaw's gone now. Now I have to do everything with this freaking shotgun. Where's my shotgun at? Oh, I nailed it to the chainsaw. Looks like we're doing some sniper rifles, folks. Good old long range snipes. Now you wanna squeeze that trigger. You don't wanna pull it. You wanna squeeze it. Not quite like that. You wanna squeeze it with more actual zombie death. There we go. Well, boys. Our chainsaw disappeared, so I went ahead and restarted. Because that's no fair to you guys. You guys came here to see chainsaws. Also, I found a different shotgun. It's like a pump shotgun. But it's better than that one. This one has six rounds in it. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. With our shotgun and chainsaw in hand, we can't be beat. Bring it on, boys. I also have more of the bear traps, as you can see. Wiping out zombies. I've got stuff attached to the bear traps. We've got the two crazy-sized, like, freaking buck knives over there. And we've got two of the, uh, the fire axes over there. Already two zombies down. I've got a couple of sniper rifles in here. An extra shotgun, because what the hell. I think I've got an extra one of the, um, the shotguns. Two extra shotguns, I guess. And then, oh, hold on. Let's go ahead and clean this guy up. And then I got a grenade there, just in case things start going too out of hand. We'll go ahead and shoot that and blow everyone to kingdom come. Uh-oh. Got our, got a couple of contestants over here walking into the bear traps. Oh, the bear trap is so good. We gotta continue to move on, though, and get to the point where, like, crazy amounts of zombies are coming in. Oh, I think a zombie just, like, vomited out a, uh, a piece of rebar. Come on! Can't you even make it through a couple of buck knives set up around neck height? You pathetic zombies. Oh, here we go. Never mind. Go ahead and get a couple of shots in. Wow! This thing's amazing! Does it go through one and out the other? Yep, it sure does. This thing's way more powerful than the other shotgun. How about from here? Yep. You get two furs with this one. Now, over here, let's go for the old groin shot. There we go. <laughs> oh, it was everything I hoped it would be. All right, I've gone all Ginsu Masters of the Universe over there. I found so many blades everywhere. I got, look at this. I got more blades on me over here. I got blades over there, blades over there. I got shotguns laying around. We got a chainsaw up in here. There ain't no one getting past all this. Jibs and body parts and blood and spit flying around everywhere. There's a pair of legs that just fell in. It is fantastic. And should we need it, our glorious six-shot pump shotgun, prepared to deal with anything that comes through. But realistically, we're only on wave three. So I'm not expecting too much quite yet. That's right, boys. Roll on in. Roll on in. There we go. Yep. Go ahead and catch your head on the giant machete there, if you would, please. Wipe your feet off as well. Oh, hey. A, uh, a shotgun and an assault rifle just popped out. Well, that's useful. Go ahead and throw down a couple of gunshots down there, because quite frankly, why not? Everyone's just falling over all of my traps on this side. That's right, everyone. Come on in. Everyone come on in. Well done. Well done. You see the bodies just piling up. We got a baseball bat out of all that. Putting the baseball bats on the uh, walls doesn't seem to actually do anything. Uh, they don't like beat themselves to death on the baseball bats or anything. It's actually quite unsatisfying. What's inside the new airdrop, I wonder? Holy planks, Batman. I have no need for you. We're not building wooden planks up in here. I want knives. More knives. Oh, the more knives, the better. We have so many knives right now. Like I said, getting past these first few uh, waves shouldn't pose any problems. We've got one, two, three knives and a crowbar over there. So we could probably go ahead and uh, probably go ahead and stick an extra knife over here. Now, I know I kept a blade with me. There it is. Kept a blade with me over here. We can just, um, we could probably just affix this to the various bear traps like this and create a horrid concoction that works incredibly well. Let us go ahead and charge all these up real quick. There we go. 
If we could get more bear traps, oh, tracking issues. If we could get more bear traps, man, that would be even better. All right, I'm gonna try and do it. Like I said, the last time we did this, it freaking disappeared. But I'm gonna try. Here we go. There we go. All right, boys. Shotgun, chainsaw. Actually, let's go ahead and put this in the right hand side. There we go. You can use. Oh, I think you can use the chainsaw as you use the shotgun. I'm pretty sure anyway. Oh, there we go. Now, can you load them both? I wonder at the same time. I don't know. But yeah, you can use the shotgun while you have the chainsaw. You can, and then at the same time. And it sounds like it's reloading. Things are starting to get real, man. I'm getting showered with giblets left and right over here. You can see body parts are plenty. Oh, whoa, whoa. Nothing much to see here. Just the legless wonder. Oh, we got a grenade. Oh, wow. They're actually starting to break through the defenses. So many bodies are coming that they're starting to... Oh, another machete. So many bodies are coming that they're starting to knock all of our weapons off the walls. Although we are getting more weapons as we lose some. In order to reload, all I have to do is switch over to this side. Thou shalt not pass. That's right. Little chainsaw right underneath the chin. Oh... Oh, we're starting to get some fools. We're starting to get some fools coming in. They're still getting taken out by what's left of my defenses. There we go. And like I said, we can kind of pass our weapon back and forth. This freakish weapon. We could probably put a blade at the tip if we wanted to. We're doing it. You always knew. You always knew old Gray had to put a freaking machete at the tip of his... At the tip of his chainsaw. Let's go ahead and restart all these. We gotta get our uh, we gotta get our ammo drops too. Anything good inside the care package? Holy crap! A whole lot of wood. Ooh, and a cleaver. That's pretty good. Did we end up with anything else? Did we end up with any ammo or anything? Just a bunch of posts and stuff like that. I don't care about all that. I want more ammo and more bladed instruments. All right, folks. Wave five. We've got the chainsaw bayonet shotgun over here. Let me go ahead and toss it on this side so I can use both of these. We just lost another defense over there. Things are popping off every once in a while. Get them! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. I think that was a two for over there. I'm not sure how many shells we have left in our shotgun either. Oh, we got some folks coming in through the door over here. No big deal, though. What the hell was that? It's like a random piece of physics flying through the window or something. Oh, we're having no issues. We are having no issues quite yet. Ooh, shotgun shells. Ooh, ow, ow, oh god. Okay, all right, zombies are starting to mean business over here. Zombies are starting to mean business, but so do I. Bring it on, boys. Keep it coming. Yep, they're coming on through. It's all right, though. We got the ultra chainsaw over here. Bring it on, bring it on. Yeah. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. More eyeballs. More more giblets. More Thanksgiving chunklets flying at us. Come on, boys. Yeah. Yeah. There we have it. Got this extra shotgun over here, too. Should I did it? What for you? And then stuff for you as well. And then over here. Huh. Uh. 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 Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, this is awesome! Woo! Yeah! Alright. Think we did pretty good. The rest of those over there should clean them up like it's no big deal. This guy's gonna get a beaver to the face! Couple more. There we go. Very good. Yep, keep walking into it. Good. Yep, everyone pile on, pile. Oh, crap. Okay. Alright. Yeah! Huh! Oh, look, we got a brand new, uh, a brand new, uh, bear trap over there. Uh, huh. Air. Roll up, boys. Roll up. Come on. Everyone gets a taste of the beaver today. We got problems, folks. I just got hit with the Ultima bug. Um, remember that instance where if you hold your chainsaw and you press the options button, it disappears. Well, it disappeared. So we're gonna go ahead and do this last wave. We're on wave six. 
I think that's gonna be it though after this way. We'll see how far we can get. I wonder if I can finish it with just these. I don't have very many shotgun shells left. Uh, and our defenses are kind of beaten down right now. But I do have at least some shotguns. I do have a lot of rifle rounds. 200, whoa! 241 rifle rounds. I almost had a freaking heart attack too. Hey, 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 hey. This thing's working pretty good, man. Ow. Here we go. Are you still, are you dead? I have to put one in your butt just to make sure. I don't know how many shotgun shells I have. I think we got three with that last one over there. There we go. Oh yeah, I want to get all those last kills so we can rack up as many points as possible. We are going to run out of shotgun shells. I think we're at it. Yep, we have three shotgun shells left. Oh, a Ginsu knife popped out. That's fortunate. All right, let's go ahead and clear all this up. There we are. Extra one for you. I think I have one more shotgun shell left. Come on, zombies. You got to clean me up. Whoa! Huh. Huh, huh. And I wonder if I can get everyone. Wow! That totally worked. Oh! Oh! Uh. Nope. Not going down yet. Uh. Yeah! Yeah! Ah, there we go. All right. Oh, oh, it's giving me extra kills. Yes. All right. That's going to be it. That's no doubt going to be another level for sure. There we go. Oh, two levels. We got three more points to spend. So that brings me to the question, guys. What next? Where do we go now? We do have our chainsaws, which are amazing, although they do have a tendency to disappear every once in a while. We can go to the next level of shotguns, which I'm very, very interested about. Uh, we could also go to the next level of tactical rifles and then start moving down to the rare machine guns. Guys, what should we go with? Feel free to let me know in the comment section below. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.